right, so here we've got a garden and we're gonna tear. It's been pre-compacted, so it's soil we've brought in and we've, we've peeled in already. And this is just the last little level before we turf. So what I'm doing now, I'm just walking around with the shovel, identifying any high spots and just skim, skimming like the tops off, taking them off. I'm uh, loosening any, any humps really. That's what I'm looking for at this point, taking the high spots off. So I'm using the, the tooth side on the rake now, again taking off any high spots and I'm looking for the low areas, so taking off the high to fill in the low. I'm using the teeth because that will loosen anything that's still there, that's sticking up higher than the level I want to be and that will break it down nicely. I was kind of throwing in at the deep end when I learnt how to use a rake on some soil. Uh, my boss at the time, when I first started out of the contract with the council, and we had a job that was grading out grass verges on the side of a dual carriageway, so I was dropped off like eight o'clock in the morning with a wheelbarrow, a shovel on the rake, and just left to my home devices all day to basically grade the bank out and you know what it's still being good stead so i did that for around two weeks and then i did loads of stuff over the years like uh, football pitches and and like there was a lot of uh, council stuff so it was big areas so really good experience in that and also a few crappy jobs as well like stone picking on, <laughs> on football pitches so you know you gotta start somewhere I suppose but yeah stood me in good stead a lot of good practice and I learned a lot from he's a, he was a good he was a good fella So I've switched the rake over now. I'm using the back of the rake just to get the final level. I like to use this to drag across the edge, like any hard surfaces around the edge. I like to use that to drag off the edge. And then again, that fills in the, any, any low spots, takes off the high and fills them in. And it's just, just a nice way of finishing it. Probably not necessary, but I've got the time and the conditions are right then I, I, w I, I will use the back of the rake just to get the last little tilt on that and the final level. The best tip I can get for raking is don't let the rake be dictated by the ground that's there. You've got to override that with 
with your with your arm with your the form of the rake you've got to draw back with one hand and guide it with the other so basically it's sailing over the top to create the level don't let it be dictated by what is there and that's how you get the level if you just let the the rake pull back on the ground literally over the top then you're just gonna be following the contours that are down you've got to form your level and that is a combination of an eye for, for the level and also a bit of a technique to get that right and i think it comes with practice but also i think you can naturally just have it my brother came to work with me one day and he's he's like an alarm engineer he'd never done it before and i gave i gave him the rake and i told him what i wanted and you know what he just got it straight away so i think some people naturally just do have the eye for it and others will have to work for it but if you know what you're trying to do that's half the battle if you if you don't know what you're looking for then you're going to always struggle but if you've got the eye then you're halfway there and as my dad always says if it looks right it is right